Yeah, guys, how you doing? It's Tacoma Comics here, and we're going live with an Emerald City Comic Con recap. Day one was yesterday. I didn't go, so right away you know that I'm lying about the title of this video. That is my day one, so I guess it's all relative. Um, seriously, though, uh, this is really just me being lazy. There's not like I'm waiting for a live crew to come in and discuss lots of stuff. This is just me uh, saying... Hey, I'm too busy, I'm too lazy, and too tired to edit this, so I'm going live with my recap. Um, I left, uh, had a half day of school, left, hit crazy traffic. Um, like, I, there was an accident, or there were um, lanes closed on I-5, and pff, forget about it. I spent an hour in the car just doing that. Can you see that? No, you can't. Um, well, you can't see that at all. Well, that was that was a bummer. So that's the map that you can't see that shows the hour I spent going literally um, within a one-tenth mile radius around um, the, the show, the Washington State Convention Center. So that was crazy. So I got there. I was cranky and tired and hot and sweaty already. Um, but I had some people to hit today, and I tried to get as many books signed as possible. So i uh, going to go over that. As usual, Emerald City is set up super well. Really, really cool place. Um, I love it's large. I love the way they've got everything laid out. The uh, helpers there are awesome. The line people are awesome. Um, it's a good experience. I just wasn't in the best of moods today, so I cut it short. I had another hour and a half delay coming home, so I should have been home um, a lot earlier than I was. So, yeah, I just want to get this out of the way, um, show you all the cool books that I got, because I did get a lot of cool um, stuff signed. Didn't buy a lot, but that'll happen tomorrow. So, Here's the smudged Erica Henderson on this Jughead variant. Um, that one's smudged. I guess I must have grabbed it too quick and then shipped Sardaski there. Uh, nice Erica Henderson down here. And then Chip shouted out my name, Ian, up there. I thought that was pretty cool. I got uh, Chip on this first appearance of Gwenpool, Howard the Duck number one. And I had Joe Quino Quinones. Um, or did I not have Joe Quinones on this? Yes, I did, down here. Hard to see. I had that one from a few years ago. So I was pretty excited to have that. Um, Chip was really nice to talk to. I might go back and get a sketch. Um, he was doing little watercolor paints for people. Um, I just didn't uh, didn't get them right off the bat. I got this one. This is um, Howard the Duck number two. I had Veronica Fish sign this a few years ago. So it got chipped down there in gold. Erica Henderson on this jug head and chip somewhere. Oh, did I not get the chip on this? Oh, and chip right there. <laughs> you know, it's crazy when you're not even, you don't even remember what you got signed. Um, but like I said, it was, uh, it was an intense time. I was super busy. Hey, I see I got somebody in here with us. Say hello, my friend. Not to my little friend. Just say hello, my friend. Let's see what else we have. So I had so much to carry. I actually brought like a Gemini mailer to put stuff in. I, I'm going to become... The guy with the, the rolling cart, uh, that's that's just all there is to it. I honestly, there's no better way to do it than put a short box, like one of the mini short boxes on a rolling cart. I've tried all sorts of other methods. They just don't work for me. So that's going to be it. All right. So Kieran Gillen and Jamie McKelvey were super cool. Um, but Kieran had this rule. He said, hey, look, I'll sign any book I've, I've written. I'll sign it for free. But there's a line. I'm just going to do 10 at a time. If you want to get back in line, go get back in line. I got back in line once and I got a whole bunch of books to bring to him tomorrow. The guy in front of me had gone, was on like his third time. He, he goes up and looks at the helper ladies like this. I'm going for 31 through 40 now. So he literally was just circling and circling and circling with just like a box of books. So um, die number one, die number one with a little, Remark of a, a die with a smiley face, not the world's greatest remark, but it's still kind of cute and whimsical. Um, die number one, cover B, die number one. So, some of these die number ones, I've got a whole bunch of them. Some of them I had shipped to JP from All About Comics uh, about a, oh, three weeks ago because I thought mistakenly, <laughs> it's not funny, that C2E2 was last weekend. And he was going to get them signed by Stephanie Hans at C2E2, ship them back to me. I was going to get them signed by Kieran Gillen here. No, C2E2 is next week. So unless I can ship these off tomorrow and get them to JP before he leaves Texas for Chicago on Tuesday, 
they ain't getting signed. And guess what? I'm going to meet Emerald City tomorrow. My wife's like, no, it's your problem. I'm taking the other son out to uh, movies and sushi. So, you know what? That's totally fair. Uh, second printing signed and uh, another number one signed. The Mike Ruth um, variant signed. The Emma Vicelli. I can't remember her name. I think it's Emma Vicelli variant signed. I also have the Virgin variant coming in the mail for this one, but I won't get it before ECC. Um, and there is one more uh, number one signed. So got a bunch of die number ones signed by Kieran Gillen. Uh, do not have them signed by Stephanie Hans, as was the original plan. What are you going to do? Um, and I won't get them signed by Stephanie Hans. The bag in this, the board in this bag is super cheap. So like I, I, this fell coming out and I got a little crinkle there. Um, so I've got a couple spine ticks on this blackbird, but look at, look at Jennifer Bartel's signature, man. That's a pretty signature. She was super awesome. Um, did it again down here. Super excited uh, to meet her. I'm going to go back. She's got a whole bunch of really nice prints. Um, I got a little, uh, enamel pin that said it was like a library book it says feminist agenda on which i thought was really cool um but i'm definitely going to go back and uh and get um some of her prints tomorrow i need to get one of those tubes so this is die number three the jen bartell variant um kieran gillen and jen bartell jp doesn't know this but one of these is for him uh if you're watching jp one of these is for you uh, Kieran Gillen and Jen Bartell as well on the, um, the variant for number three. Uh, total die fanatic, as a lot of us are, really loving that book. Um, so if you're interested, because I know a lot of people have asked about this, or I've heard comments and, and seen people say stuff that weren't sure, he says it's going to go about half the length of Wick Div. So Wick Div is, is about 35 issues and it's wrapping up. He's looking at like three, five issue arcs for die. So about 15 issues, but not totally sure. If you are a Wick Div fan, um, this doesn't do it justice, but this cosplay and the, the light is really bad on this. This cosplay was just pretty darn awesome. Um, oh my gosh, you can't see that at all. It's all washed out. Uh, anyway, she's holding up my copy of uh, Wick Div number one that White Whale uh, sent me. So... That was pretty cool. She came up to the um, lady who was running Gillen and McKelvey's booth, and she's like, what's Die about? She, she didn't know Die, and the lady's like, oh, it's amazing. And she's like, all right, I'll buy number one. I'm like, you know what? Your cosplay is so nice. I'm going to buy you number two. So felt like I did a good deed for somebody. Uh, most of the booths selling comics, unless you've got, like, hours to go through boxes, which – some of us do, and there's not a problem with that. I do that all the time. I just didn't have hours today because, like I said, I was cranky and tired. Um, but uh, it, unless you've got time, most of the stuff that they're selling isn't isn't on the cheap, man. It, it really isn't. So I found one booth selling, like, back issues and stuff that was pretty good. So here is um, Monstrous number four. They Everything was 50% off at this booth. So instead of $10, it was $5, which is about what it should be. So I got a $5 comic for $5. Um, here is, I was missing this one, the first Wolverine Sabretooth. Um, he says it's listed as VF, very fine, uh, $21. So we got it for $10.50 and the guy didn't charge me the 50 cents. It actually looks like it's, in, it's it looks like it's a little dirty, but it looks like it's in decent condition. I didn't really look at it. I just needed this one. I wasn't going to like spend a lot of money on it. So getting it for 10 bucks, that's about what it should cost. Um, yeah, you can see there's a couple like thumbnail things. I love these galleries they did on the back though. That's pretty sick, right? Um, yeah, it's not bad. It's definitely not mint. It's, it's definitely fine or very fine. So I'm happy to have that. Happy to have that. Now probably got like one to 50 in that run. And I call it the first run. I don't count a limited series as the first volume. I don't care what anybody else says. But that's just the way I feel. All right? That's how I feel. I can't change how I feel. Um, got a non-compliant bumper sticker for the car. Shout out Kelly Sue, who has, like, with the Captain Marvel premiere, man, she's been flying all over the country um, doing stuff and promoting and just 
got sick, which a lot of people are getting sick around this time. And so the fact that she's there suffering through it and signing stuff, and I give her all the credit in the world. There's the uh, Jen Bartel feminist agenda pin. Ask me about my feminist agenda. Um, all right. So tried to ring books in the Spider-Man booth boxes. Um, it's okay, but it'd be nicer if they didn't have the the side flaps because you got to always get them in right. And if you could put like a, a dot of Velcro on the, the over flap and just close it quick like that with a Velcro, that would actually be really easier. Taking the books out and then unbagging them for creators and like I said, I haven't found a good way to do this, and I felt like a fool every time I went up to a booth, but what are you going to do? So um, I already had um, Matt on this, St. Ian, so then Chip got this one on this uh, Sex Criminals variant, St. Ian. Um, and then I guess that's an arrow that Chip drew. I already had Matt's signature again. Matt wasn't there today. He's sick or something. Um He's supposed to be there, but it just says Matt Fraction Cancel. So I didn't get Matt on this one. This is a new one I, I haven't seen Matt with yet, but I got Chip to sign this variant. Love to get the artist, but I don't think she uh, lives in country. Uh, at least she's somebody I hadn't heard of. I didn't get Matt to sign this either. This is um, a beautiful Odyssey 1 variant. Chip did the cover too and got Chip signature on it. That is just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um this is the pile that I didn't get Karen Gill to sign, uh, but I'm going to get him to sign tomorrow. One, two, Origins, two, um, second printing. Oh, look, it's another one. Uh -huh. um, this is the third printing to issue two. I just bought that today. I didn't have that one. It's probably waiting for me at my, comic, at my LCS, but I haven't been there this week because I've been so busy. Uh, I didn't get another die number one signed by Karen. Didn't get a Dr. Aphra signed by Kieran. Oh, I didn't get that Star Wars signed by Kieran. And sorry, that Darth Vader, which is the second printing of number one. And third printing, sorry. And I didn't get that one signed. And you know why I didn't get that one? I'm not this. I love the artwork on this, but I don't know what happened to this one. There's nothing in the bag. But look at down the price sticker. Got all that gunky, gunky, gunk on it. That's just not cool. Um, but I think I've got two copies of this, or at least I've got the second printing. I, I don't know why this cover did not get more, like, love from the community. That is an awesome cover. But it didn't, so what are you going to do? Hey, guys, what time is it? I don't have my watch. Really? Like, I can't find out, but look at my computer, 810. Uh, Nicholas, brush your teeth, go to bed. Nathaniel, brush your teeth, go to bed. We're getting up early for Comic-Con tomorrow. Yes. But your bedtime is already past. You guys be in bed by 8.30, both of you, okay? Did you brush your teeth, though? Brush your teeth, and you can come back down and reach late 30, okay? Uh, there's another die number one that I didn't get signed. That's third printing. So, yeah, there's a pile that I need to get to Kieran. I got to check if I've got a better copy of this one. Um, because, like I said... He does 10 at a time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten. Nice. So one more time through that line with those books. And, you know, he was really cool about it. And I, I, I think he's absolutely right. Like, why should somebody put down 40 books and make everybody else wait? I, I agree. You know, I, I'm not greedy. I think that's totally cool. All right. Next box. Let's see what we got. Bam. All right. Here we have yet another sex criminals that I did not get signed by Matt yet, but now got chip on it. And another sex criminals. We joked about the models and Chip said they're very hard to work with. If you don't get the joke, that's Chip and Matt. Um, but I like his signature. I like his signature and I like Jen Bartel's signature. This man. Have you read this? This is really good. I Wow. I was just reading it online. I only picked it up like Thursday and then, or Wednesday, man, and I had no time. I was at school till 7 with a soccer game and a soccer party and then orchestra after that. Um, Pope Grimey, this one is for you. So it says, Pope Grimey, love chip. <laughs> and it's got Matt's signature there. And there's a tape pull here, and he wrote right over the tape pull so you can't see it. Um, pretty cool. 
So there you go, Pope. That's for you. Paradox Frost and Bizzle. Well, hello to both of you. No idea who they are. Oh, Paradox Frost. That's um Evan or Lance or Tyler. Um, it's not 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 Tyler, it's Evan or Lance. And who's Bizzle? Tell me who you are. So Paradox Frost is Evan. And is Bizzle a friend of yours? So I just got back from Emerald City Comic Con, guys, and I'm going through uh oh, so oh, so it's Lance and Evan. There you go. Um, can't get enough of me, even though the trimester's over. So this was um Kelly Sue did this, one of her first books for um, Marvel. is a like a five-issue run on Osborne. And so I got her to sign that. And Jamie McKelvey was the artist. So I got it on that. Um, and also Emma Rios, who Kelly Sue partnered up with on Pretty Deadly. So it's pretty cool. Um, and then I got McKelvey and Karen to sign Phonogram. And this one, I realized, has a rip down there. Kind of ticked me off. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Uh, push our way through Wicked and Divine. Shout out to White Whale who gifted me this one. In exchange, she asked me to get this one signed. So there's Kieran Gillen and there's McKelvey's signature. So I'm going to ship that back to him after the festivities are done this weekend. Um, I did get this one. That's the uh, Adi Granov cover to Darth Vader number one. I did get one of my first appearance of Dr. Afra signed, just not all of them. Um, and I got Angela, um, is that Asgard's Assassin? Yeah, Angela Asgard's Assassin. This is another Hans cover that I'm not getting shipped to Hans. And finally, um, I did get this one, Phonogram. This is from the Singles Club. Uh, I forget, but this is, again, both of them on a number one. Moving right along. This one I'm excited about, and I hope oh, it stayed in good condition, man. This is like six boards in here. So this is the design variant. I had G. Willow Wilson sign it a number of years ago, and I got McKelvey on it. Um, that's one of my favorite books. And then before, even before he did uh, Wick Div or Phonogram, Jamie McKelvey had a Suburban Glamour book he published. and uh, I guess he did the writing and the art himself. Uh, so I got issue one signed there. So guys, my, my life ain't glorious. This is what I do when I'm not teaching or, or grading your videos. I... Uh, I do videos of my own live or edited about comic books. That's why it's called Tacoma Comics. You can see how popular I am with all my viewers today. Friday night's not a good night. There's several live shows out there, and I didn't, I didn't post about this one ahead of time. So anyhow, um, I've met Kelly Sue a number of times at Rose City and Emerald City, but I had not seen Valentine Delandro since, like, the beginning. So cover the head up. So I got Valentine to sign a lot of these um, along with Kelly Sue. There's issue one of Bitch Planet. There's issue one, um, second printing. There's the image first one. There is another issue one. There is, I guess they call it like the Wick Div um, variant, not sure. And there is another second printing. And then I got these cool, cool, I got these off Midtown, this Pretty Deadly variant. I got Kelly to sign that. And the Ghost variant for Pretty Deadly, number one. I got a second one of those, so I'm going to send that to JP because he's doing all the work um, helping me out getting stuff signed in Chicago uh, next week. And then look at this. This is the second printing cover by David Mack. That's freaking awesome. I love that. Um, the first person I met on the way in was uh, Magdalene Visaggio, Visa Visaggio. And um, I totally forgot to get this Quantum Team to go, number one sign. But I also found this variant, which I just covers just crazy. I love that cover. Skateboarder with the wrench. Makes me feel like I should go watch Deadly Class. I haven't finished this bit. Um, I'm two episodes behind. And like I said, Matt Fraction wasn't there, but this is the last uh, of the first Uncanny X-Men run, 544. Um, so I wanted him to sign that, but another time. And one more box. So guys, you're watching it. You're in the chat. Tell me what's going on. What are you doing this Friday night? Obviously, you're, you know, you're the cool kids because you're at home on TV, watch or on the computer or your phone watching your teacher do an unboxing of comic books. I punked you. 
Um, so yeah, tell me what's up. Tell me what you're doing. I didn't get to see David Finch yet, but I've got this Wonder Woman and this sick Moon Knight for him to sign. Uh, didn't see um, your current Dolfo, but I've got Shade the Changing Woman. I've got Unnatural Number One and Hex Wives. So this is all stuff that's got to go back tomorrow. Uh, Magdalene did sign um, did sign Dazzler, but Lauren Braga is there who did this variant cover. So I got to get her to sign that. Um, and if I could get Bill Senkovich to sign that, I'd be a happy dog. Uh, and then the rest of this is Magdalene Visaggio. There's Kim and Kim. There's Kim and Kim, Love is a Battlefield. There's another Love is a Battlefield. There's a variant for the original Kim and Kim. There is Eternity Girl number one and Eternity Girl number one, the variant. I guess I like Magdalene Visaggio. There's another Kim and Kim. There's the, oh, sh it's Kim and Kim number one. And then Vagrant Queen which I really like sex death revolution, which I didn't really like too much and calamity Kate, which just came out and seems kind of fun so far. I read the first issue it is pretty cool. Is there any flash? Um, I have some flash. Uh, I have in, in the rebirth line, which is like the newest stuff that DC did. I've got issue one and two, um, both signed by Joshua Williamson and then issue five, which is the first appearance of Godspeed. And then I also had the, um, the lenticular cover for issue 22, which is part of the button series, the crossover with Batman. I think I sold those on an auction the other day. Um, but I didn't, I don't have any flash on me. Um, I got flash in the comic book room. You guys will have to watch my channel, see the comic book room another time. Um, so yeah, to recap, my wife got mine, which means she's awesome because I need something tonight. Uh, the voice is still bad from soccer. Emerald City was long. The traffic was longer. Uh, I think I'm going to have a better time going with my son tomorrow and having a full day to plan out uh, all those comics that you just saw wait a lot. And yeah, I need to just uh, take it a bit easier tomorrow. Got a long day ahead of me. Um, the cosplay was on point. The Emerald City is really well set up, but they need to do something about the traffic around there outside the actual venue. Um, that's about it. So thanks to my students for showing up for my live show. Everybody else catching this in the rewind, let me know if there's anything in particular you want or you're interested in. And uh, I'll give you guys another recap either tomorrow or on Sunday after the next two days. This is Tacoma Comics saying goodbye.